Hello guys, hope you have been having a very lovely day. In this video, we will see what NAND gate realizations are. So, it is nothing but when you are given a logic in which there are AND gates, NOT gates and NOR and OR gates. So, if your uh, normal if the given logic is in your normal AOI format, which is AND or an invert format, you need to convert that into NAND gates. Let us see how this is done. So, any logic, any circuitry given to you is in the form of AND or an invert. So, when the given circuit is in terms of these three things, we need to convert them into totally NAND gates. So, we will take a simple circuit as an example, A and B as inputs, an AND gate in there. an OR gate in here and an AND gate there okay uh, uh, let me take uh, um, maybe what I'll do something I'll take an So, this is the circuit I have been given. So, this is A, B, which is A and B, and this is B, C. So, the output is going to be A, B plus B, C. I have an AND gate, I have an AND gate, and I have an OR gate. I have two AND gates, and I have an OR gate. So, the basic point which you have to remember in these NAND gate or NOR gate realizations are a bubbled OR gate is a NAND gate. See, this is an OR gate, right? So, this, if there are bubbles on the back of the OR gate at the inputs, that is called a, that can be replaced with a NAND gate, N-A-N-D, NAND gate. And always, an AND gate, if there is a bubble in the output side of it, that is already an AND gate. So, looking at this circuit, you yourself will now be able to tell me what changes I have to make. So, simple. If I have to make this AND gate an AND gate, I have to add a bubble here. If I am adding a bubble, I have to add an inverter so that the output which comes out from that in that wire in that specific line is the same AB so that the output does not change to AB whole bar I will have to add an inverter to the line so that the output is AB itself and the same logic you have to apply for the AND gate which is at the bottom add a bubble there and also add an inverter in the line so with this what you're going to get is the output will stay to be BC. The output will be BC and the, na and the AND gate and this one was an AND gate before. Now it has become an AND gate. The AND gate has been changed into an AND gate. And in the same way we have added inverters. Why did we add inverters? So that the output in that specific wire in this wire will be same as before right so now our job in the left part of the circuit is finished now we have to convert the OR gate into a NAND gate what do you have to do add a bubble here whenever you are adding a bubble add an inverter and also add an inverter to the wire and we added a bubble here, so add an inverter to this wire. And remember, if there are two inverters in a single wire, 
for example in a wire the input is coming to be a and one inverter has made it a bar and the other inverter is making it a again which means if there are two inverters in a single line you can remove them so there are two inverters in this line and two inverters in this line which means I can remove those two inverters and just draw the line in there so I can write this as I can just remove all this and I can simply join it like that and the same thing I can do it for the gate down so now you have two NAND gates and one bubble door gate what do we know we know that a bubble door gate is nothing but a NAND gate so I am going to remove the bubble door gate and I am going to replace it with an AND gate and draw, write the truth table for this circuitry before replacing and after replacing you will get the same output you will get the same same output so now you might ask me what if there is an inverter left in a line like this now if you look at the circuit the all the gates present in the circuit are totally NAND gates so NAND gate realization has been done but for example if there is an inverter like this what does that mean it is neither or it is neither it is neither or nor and which means I cannot add bubbles remove bubbles add inverters add inverter uh, remove inverters just like that it is already it is an inverter so an inverter is equivalent to a single input NAND gate so the only change you are going to do if there is a single inverter which is left out if there is a single inverter in a single wire it means that you will have to replace it with a single input NAND gate a single input NAND gate is nothing but a simple change in the design make it oval and put an put an AND gate give it a single input that is a single input NAND gate so with this in this way we can achieve NAND gate realization in any sort of circuit which means replacing which means replacing AND gates OR gates and inverters into NAND gates this is how NAND gate realization is done how to do NOR gate realization is another video hope you found this informative and helpful if you have an exam all the very very best thank you and have a lovely day